Uh, she reminded us that the purpose of government is to make life better for the citizens of Cincinnati. A who's who of Cincinnati politics packed Memorial Hall to celebrate the life of Cincinnati's second female mayor, Bobby Lynn Stern. God knows that in these times, uh, that still remains very significant. Um, she was a strong advocate for primary health care for the citizens of Cincinnati. Long before politics, Stern joined the 25th General Hospital Division during World War II and served in England, France, and Belgium. Giving back was part of her DNA. She worked with many nonprofit organizations over the years, described as gracious, dignified, smart, and tough. Stern was remembered by her friends and political colleagues, not just for her accomplishments, but also the lessons she taught the rest of us. I think it is the passing of an era, quite frankly. You know, she was someone who had dedicated her life to the city before she was ever elected to city council. And then once she was elected, I mean, her one and only focus was making decisions and spending her time with what was best for the city of Cincinnati. She earned the respect of folks throughout the city for her advocacy and commitment. She believed everyone should share in the American dream. Uh, she had a following of people who believed in her. Uh, that following began sort of in North Avondale and Clifton, but spread citywide as she proved herself over and over again as someone who kept her word. She had clear principles, clear beliefs. Her integrity was unassailable. Uh, she was an example of a public servant that we have too few examples of these days. Well, here is proof of Mrs. Stern's lasting impact. The family encouraged donations to organizations that support people who are homeless, disadvantaged, or discriminated against. Cherie?